All right, so we are on to part two. Um, I am going to stop sharing my screen um, and we are going to have a tour of the ACE curriculum and I will jump into the chat now so that I can answer some questions there as Martha's giving um, a, a curriculum tour. The one thing I wanted to say before Martha gets started, which I think she will also talk about is that uh, even though you're all here live, which is great, and I would suggest coming every Monday morning if you can, um, the course is really built to be asynchronous. Um, first of all, there's lots of teaching lectures in our course and lots of you guys have jobs um, through the summer. We don't assume that you are ready at any moment to Zoom with us and hang out. Um, so because the course is asynchronous, you can do it kind of at your own pace when you like. I am going to highly suggest to you that you stay on the course schedule, which is done by weekday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. What that means is you can do the work anytime you want, but I highly suggest trying to do basically an hour a day each day. Now, some of you are like, oh my God, you're insane. Fine, then you don't have to do that. Um, you can also skip a day here and there and catch up whatever is good for you. Um, but it's not the kind of course that's gonna be as easy to do if you decide to just do it on Saturdays, I think. Um, so I would suggest making a little bit of time in your daily practice to check in with the course. Um, you'll, you'll understand how that works a little bit better as Martha takes you through the course. So I'm gonna mute myself and turn it over to the fabulous Martha Burtis. Thank you, Robin. I'm just gonna go ahead and share um, my screen now. Um, can everybody see the workshop page right now? Yes. Yes. So, um, so this is the ACE workshop page, which is um, in a minute, Hannah Hounsell is going to take you through a tour of sort of all of the different spaces we'll be working in, and she'll show you an, a really easy way for you to get to this from the team that we're going to be using. Um, but the URL is also very simple, collab.plymouthcreate.net slash ACE slash workshop. Um, if you were just to go to um, slash ACE, it would take you to um, a website just about the ACE framework. And you'll be spending time there because the way I like to think about this is that the ACE framework is kind of like the online text or online resource that we're going to be using for this workshop. But this, the workshop website, is really the guided um, uh, web presence for what we're going to be doing for the next four weeks. So you'll definitely be spending time here um, and clicking on some of the stuff on this page. Uh, because it's a four week web, web um, workshop, you won't be surprised to hear it's divided into four weeks. Um, so on this page, you'll see um, there's a box here for week one, two, three, and four. I'm going to just really quickly talk about how the curriculum is organized um, and orient you a little bit to that structure. Um, as you can see just from here, weeks one, two, three, and four deal with each deal with a different value. So this week we're going to be talking about adaptability. Next week, connection. In week three, we'll be talking about equity. And in week four, you'll notice there isn't a value mentioned there. That's because that's kind of our pulling it all together week. That's when you'll be um, pulling it all together, all the stuff that you've been doing in those other weeks and, and really putting together your plan um, for the fall. I'm going to dive really quick into week one. Later on, I'm going to talk more specifically about what we're doing this week. But just to give you an idea of all of the first three weeks are structured the same so that you know what to expect in terms of your weekly structure. At the top of every page, we have something called resources and opportunities, which explains when we have open office hours. Those are from 830 to 930 every day. On Mondays, that hour is this orientation and will be recorded and shared on this web page. Tuesday through Friday, those are just drop-in hours. You can just stop by, talk to one of us. Um, if we have a lot of people and they want to talk about different things, we may break out into different rooms, um, but it's very informal. It will not be recorded. Um, every week we're trying to do something fun that's sort of um, related to the work of ACE and the work of fall pr preparation, um, but not necessarily a formal part of the curriculum. That'll be posted there. And then we have this thing called get out of town every week where we'll point you to another resource or opportunity that's happening that week that you might want to look at. For this week in tech for weeks one through three our um, amazing Jason Ninos will be doing um, sessions on Tuesday afternoons at one o'clock about some kind of tech aspect of working um, 
this fall through COVID-19. And then this week in learning cohorts is really important. All of the um, stipended participants will be assigned a mentor, a faculty affiliate mentor who will work kind of with them over the next three weeks. The main activity that those cohorts will be engaging in every week is one weekly synchronous meeting. So we've tried, that's why we asked you about your availability on the questionnaire. We've tried to link mentors with um, participants based on availability when they said during days they were available. Um, so hopefully it's not too hard to find an hour every week to meet in Zoom and talk about um, the work of the workshop. Every week we'll give some questions or prompts to talk about um, in those weekly meetings. Um, and then for weeks one through three, well, for every week, there'll be um, a work to do Monday through Friday. Um, and this page will just lay out what those are. Every day has a set of activities or readings or reflections that we ask you to do in different spaces. Again, Hannah in a moment is gonna be walking you through those spaces where you'll be working um, and doing that work. Generally speaking, um, so, some kinds of reflections tend to happen in our team space. Um, the work that you're doing, the assignments that you're doing tend to happen in your workshop, in your workbook, which everybody has their own workbook. Um, and then this vid space is where we have those um, daily drop-in hours for people to um, for people to talk and chat about how things are going or to tune in for Jason sessions on Tuesdays. And then finally, for each week, um, we do have this checklist. We have a, um, a checklist for ACE that we um, adapted from a number of different sources. Um, one was um, Bowdoin put out a, um, a checklist when we went remote in the spring that was very robust and solid. And so we borrowed some stuff from the Bowdoin checklist. We've also borrowed some stuff to qual from Quality Matters Remote Learning um, checklist, which is also linked to the larger Quality Matters checklist. If you're not familiar with Quality Matters, they're a national organization um, that works with universities who are interested in moving online. Um, some faculty here at PSU are doing some Quality Matters faculty development this summer. So we wanted to make sure that we tried to align where we could um, the specific work that we're doing in this workshop with the kinds of things you might be hearing in QM um, conversations as well. But this checklist will also guide some of your participation each week. And at the end of um, the workshop, it will be an opportunity, the checklist will provide an opportunity for you to really go through all of your preparations um, to see where you are uh, in terms of being ready for the fall term. And I just want to say one more thing about the um, checklist that if you go to any college in the United States right now, they are all operating with these readiness checklists for online learning related to COVID. So almost every institution has one. They are um, coming, many of them are copied from each other. We did a lot of that, right? We, we mined it. But I wanna make you feel so good about this checklist because particularly Martha um, spent a lot of time um, taking the USNH standards that are coming from an external source at Quality Matters, putting them up against what we surveyed as the um, best practice standards at other institutions that really did a great job, um, and then our ACE framework. And so they are all integrated. What this means is that if you really do work your way through this workshop, um, you're not just going to meet the standards that the CoLab has set, but you're really going to be able to be confident that in terms of what's out there nationally, you are prepared as best you can be for um, teaching and learning during COVID because um, those checklists are very, we tried to simplify them so they look simple, but they have a lot of depth to them in terms of the amount of research that went in in choosing what things we would prepare you with. And we tried to take out things um, that were not necessary. So I think you will find um, that, that you've, that you'll, you'll really be well served. Um, okay, Martha, keep going. Um, and then the last thing I just wanted to say about the curriculum, I'm not gonna go to week four right now um, because it will probably be a little overwhelming, but I'll just mention, so week four is a little bit different. I, as I said, it's the week where we tie everything together. 
and the activity and the work in week four is four is all about preparing and putting together a document that um, we're calling your guided self-assessment that for stipended participants um, in that last week instead of meeting for an hour with your cohort um, to talk about how things are going with the workshop. What you'll be doing that week is scheduling half an hour one on one mentor and participant to work through and look at your guided self assessment together um, and identify um, Where you're really ready, but also where your gaps may still be um, so that we can help you figure out how to bridge those gaps between the end of this workshop and the beginning of the fall term. Um, so that guided self-assessment is another, in addition to the participant workbook, is another um, sort of resource that you're, you'll be building, but that work is mostly focused on week four. Um, that's it for kind of the curriculum tour for the workshop. I'm gonna turn it over to Hannah Hounsel and I'm gonna let her give you a tour of the various spaces, particularly technology spaces, um, that we'll be working in over the next four weeks. So I'm going to stop sharing, Hannah, and let you pick it up. Okay. All right. All right. Hopefully everybody can see my screen. Um, so one of the, or the biggest place that we're going to be working on is, um, is Teams. That's kind of going to be the one-stop shop <laughs> That's going to be the one-stop shop for the course. Um, and I just wanted to quickly go over where to find uh, Teams, if uh, no one has ever been on Teams before. Um, if you go to your My Plymouth and go to the O365 uh, apps waffle over here and click on Teams, it'll bring you to um, the institution's Teams page. And everybody should be already added to the team. I know we've been working on that over the weekend. Um, so when you go to Teams, it should show up, um, and I'll show you what that looks like. So this is our um, course Teams, the ACE uh, four-week workshop. And when you first come into this Teams, you'll probably see the general channel. Um, this is a good place to start with the tour, so I'll talk about this a little bit. Um, on Teams, you have different channels and you have different tabs. So on the general channel, uh, channel you have these tabs up top and that um, website that Martha was just showing everybody can be found really quickly right at the top of the, gen the general channel right here so when you click on that um, it brings you to the website in teams which can take some time <laughs> yeah it can it, it can take a little bit of time but that is embedded right there so you can click through you can see what is happening in week one. You can go to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You can navigate right on Teams. Um, so that's really handy that it is always going to be on this Teams channel and you can find your place um, right in Teams. Um, one other thing that we have at the top here um, is the Zoom tab. And this is going to be where you can um, join the Zoom room that we'll have. We have one Zoom room for every tech webinar, for our orientations, for our drop-in hours. So if you just go to Teams and click on that tab at the top and then join the workshop room, you'll be brought right here. Um, one thing that Martha was mentioning that is kind of talked about a bit in the syllabus is um, what we call the workbook. And that's where you're going to be doing um, the majority of the like, assignments for the course. And everybody has their own workbook. So if you go to the files tab of the um, general channel, you're going to find a bunch of folders and each are named with your last name. And if you just go into one of these, you'll see that you have a participant workbook and that you have the guided self-assessment. So the participant workbook, if we click in on that, um, you can see that it's pretty organized, thanks to Martha. Um, and it kind of uh, structures out the different assignments per week and um, the daily assignments. So it starts with week one, Monday, and then you'll scroll Tuesday, Wednesday. So this is a really great place to do the assignments that um, we have come up with keep all your work in one place. Um, and it's a great way for your mentor to also be able to go in and see work and answer questions. 
Um, so we definitely recommend using the workbook. All right, and then we go back here. And don't mind all of the, these teams I'm part of. Um, that is kind of the general um, channel, uh, more or less. And then I'm gonna talk about some of these other channels over here. First things first is you will not see as many channels as I have on my um, teams because I'm part of every single mentor group because Robin and I had to make them. But when you go into your teams, you should just see the general channel, an open discussion, which is where you can pose questions, you can talk about kind of anything that might arise either with ACE or other. Um, and then these next three channels are the first discussion forums that we have, which are assignments for week one. So these are kind of themed and um, they correspond with the different days for the tasks. So you can go right in here and you can start a conversation um, based on what the assignment is for the week. One little note about um, making posts in Teams. If no one has, if you haven't done it before, it's super easy, but I just wanted to kind of show you what that looks like. Um, down here at the bottom, you'll see start a conversation and you can literally just click in there and start typing. Um, one thing that I do recommend though, is that you actually click on this little A because it brings up some more options. So you can actually make a subject. So you can say my response to this and then you can do some formatting as well. One thing that um, I definitely recommend you watch out for is when there is a thread, you need to make sure to click reply in order to reply to the thread. Sometimes um, folks will come down here and reply to a thread and that kind of just gets lost in the ether. Um, so definitely make sure you're pressing reply. One other quick trick is that you can um, at people as well. So at Robin. And then they'll get a notification of your post. Um, so that is the discussion forums. I went over the workbook. Um, is there anything else I'm missing, Robin? Sorry. Okay, so I, I think that's it. But uh, one other thing is I kind of live, breathe, eat, and dream about teams because uh, I'm on it so often. So if anybody has any questions about teams or they're lost in teams, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, I'm happy to actually set up a little appointment where we can kind of like go through teams together one on one. Um, but it's a great tool. So uh, lost in teams is the name of Hannah's upcoming memoir. So I think <laughs> you should enjoy that. Stay tuned for um, that. Okay, uh, Hannah will stop uh, sharing her screen and let me just reiterate one thing before I stop this recording and we will get to the very last um, part of today's session. Um, so the last thing I wanna say here is that some of you are just like, perfect, that's great. Um, others of you are like, yeah, I'm, I should drop out right now because I, oh, okay, I have two things to say because of the chat. Um, uh, and some of you are just ready to drop out because it already feels overwhelming. Um, I just want to tell you that really the only thing we have to get you comfortable with is, is Teams because everything's there. The link to the syllabus is right at the top. The link to this Zoom room is right at the top. So once you get into Teams, um, everything is going to be a little bit easier for you. Um, I am seeing from people and maybe other people could use the chat to let me know that they're having trouble seeing their mentor groups. Um, if you could actually just throw something in the chat, in the chat like I see mine or yeah, I don't see mine. Um, but I've been working on Kate Harrington's and like adding her over. Yeah, so I, there, it seems like there's a couple little quirks. Um, what I'd like to suggest, yeah, so it's definitely some people are not seeing them. I don't know what's going on, but um, Jason and I, are going to look into this afterwards and, and figure it up. Um, it should, everybody should have a group that says private mentor group and then the name of your mentor and you should be in there. Um, for people who are un unstipended, you have a group that is called, I'm trying to look, your group is called, here we go, I know you're waiting for it, optional peer-to-peer -peer mentoring. Um, that's your mentor group. Um, but for those of you who are stipended is, is there. Um, 
So anyway, I would just say, don't worry about it. Just shoot me an email and we'll make sure that we fix it. But you are, I think, all in there. There's something quirky going on um, because even Kate Harrington, who is a mentor and is the owner of her mentor group, cannot see it. Uh, some people are saying, never mind, I see it. I just didn't look in the right place. So maybe look in the right place. I don't know. Try that as an option. <laughs> Scroll around, see what you can do. Teams can be a little bit funny, but it should be there. Oh yeah. And Jesse said she needed to reload teams. So that's another possibility is to refresh because it may be that the last time you were in here, you weren't yet in your group and now you've been assigned. Um, I can also move people around just a little bit. These mentor groups are mostly designed by time compatibility. Um, so it means that you and your mentor and the other people in your groups roughly said you had the same times available because the only required synchronous participation in this course is that you meet uh, three times with your mentor group synchronously. Um, your mentor will be contacting you through that channel um, to set that up. Um, so anyway, yes, there's all sorts of questions in the <laughs> mentor group. You can see who else is in your group um, just to make sure that you're not with people that you hate, you know, like the mean girls, if they're in your group, we have to move you. Um, you'll have to go in to look at the uh, channel membership. So uh, look around a little bit, but don't hesitate to get in touch. We'll, we'll make it work for you. So with that, I am also going to um, stop recording briefly.